vanish. Hey, what's up, and you guys? It's Dream Prime Sonic here, and welcome back to the little video. Today, we have an interesting discussion to talk about. We're going to be talking about and looking into the 2v2 and 3v3 system in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So, um, as you guys know, if the lobbies aren't filled up with actual players in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the computer or the algorithm or whatever the case may be will try to fill it up with AIs of actual custom created characters from different players. Now, that's actually a really cool idea, and it kind of helps out when it comes to filling out those lobbies if you want to have a 2v2 or 3v3 but the problem that I have with this current system is that it's not scaling it's not matching up to the players who are actually in the lobbies so let's say for example since I am level 99 and someone joins in let's say only one person just joins in and that person's level 71 now um, the algorithm or whatever the case may be should be able to go from a scale from 99 to 70 and pull in characters who are between those ranges because you can't tell me that after the game has been out for almost a year now that it can't find you know, people of those levels and you know currently it doesn't really work like that the game just pulls in random AIs whether it be 99 whether it be 10 it doesn't really matter it'll just pull it in and it makes for very unenjoyable matches because if you have two level 10s on your team, you're going to you're going to get washed because those 10s are going to get wiped out instantly and you're going to lose. So what I'm hoping to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is that they'll try and make it that it'll shoot scale. So if let's say for example, you know, since I joined, I created the lobby and I'm level 89 and two players joining, one of them is level 50 and the other one is level um, 65 the you know algorithm or whatever the case may be will be able to scale from 99 to 50 and choose characters in between those um, ranges and balance it out by placing them in various you know opposite sides of the team whatever the case may be so that's something that they need to improve on in Dragon Ball Universe 2 because there have been several times I cannot tell you how many times I keep ending up with people who are super weak on my team and I keep getting washed constantly now I'm um, that goes to say as well like having the ability as well in, when it comes to creating lobbies is choosing like a range system of how, of what type of players you want to join into your lobbies now if you you know want only level 50 or above people to join your lobbies you can now I'm um, you are restricting a huge pool of players who are able to join in but if you want the matches to be more intense and more like balanced something that you, that you should be able to do in the game like for instance I recently heard that they have implemented a zero stats mode in Endless where you're able to select the option to make everyone, doesn't matter who you are, everyone be at even stats. So like let's say for example, you know, I have a hundred in key and someone has a hundred in stunner man, that shit doesn't even matter anymore because once that option has been selected, everyone is at zero stats and that means that it comes down to just pure skills alone and that is actually something that's actually super damn awesome i'm actually really hyped up for that because you know now you know you don't have to worry too much if you're facing up against let's say a super saiyan female with a high key or maybe a namekian who, <laughs> a namekian who has i don't know uh, for example high stanima or something like that it all comes down to just your skills alone so that's something that's actually pretty cool i'm kind of hoping that they'll have this you know option in player matches as well because that is actually going to be really awesome for people who just want to go on 1v1 or something like that in player match or maybe 2v2 or 3v3 like i said before now i don't know i don't know why they've restricted this in endless i know it hasn't been confirmed that it's going to be restricted to endless alone but i'm hoping that we'll see this in player match um also maybe actually in ranked match i feel like i don't know what you guys think like for me I wouldn't mind seeing it in ranked um, in ranked matches because that will just show that if you are a very high level player, so let's say you are a A ranked or a B ranked, it will show that you didn't get it, you didn't get to that rank using chip tactics like you know max key blast attacks or you know max um, attack whatever the case may be. It just shows that you reached that status on skills alone. You know what? I'm actually thinking about it now. Yeah, we should actually have zero stats in ranked matches and then you know in player match that will be the place where you want to go have fun with your 100 
100 key blasts, 100 stun amount, 100 strike, whatever the case may be. I'm, I'm thinking like they should have this in ranked. That would be that would be something that would be awesome, and it just shows your level of skills because you know it, it makes sense to some degree to have it in ranked and endless, of course, because that, that is where it was you know, officially introduced and stuff like that. So um, yeah. Pretty much, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think like um, the zero stats thing should be a ranked feature as well, or do you want it far away from ranked so that you can show off what you've created, your build, whatever the case may be, in ranked? I think it's going to be awesome to have it in ranked because it'll just show that if you reach, um, let's say, the Z ranked, for example, it just shows that you are really, really skillful with your character or whatever the case may be. And maybe, you know, because everyone is at base stats. You know, people will be more encouraged to use their um, their custom character characters, or for example, use the you know preset characters like Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Krillin, um, Yamcha. I mean, if you use Yamcha and you are Z ranked, like bruh, respect, respect. But then, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.